what do you think has been the biggest the biggest hurdle or setback or, or lesson you've learned in, in over your career of building this? I think the the overall lesson, you know, to answer that part first is expect the unexpected. There's lots of things thrown at you as an entrepreneur and as a business builder and and you just need to be ready. <laughs> Who would have predicted COVID? Right? But in terms of some of the lessons or some of the things along the way that were real hurdles, we've had lots of HR struggles because it's really hard to find good people. Mm -hmm. I grow good people because there's a real big shortage of qualified lawyers and qualified accountants who practice in this space. So we've become a target. If we grow somebody, our competitors love to poach from us. So that that's, oh, yes. so that's a challenge. And what else? You know, with growth comes leadership issues in terms of what worked in the old days doesn't work in the, in the new days, especially with growth and progressive values being thrown at you by media. So there's challenges that way as well. And, uh, you know, the usual business issues, cash flow, because you're investing in, in, in practice group one at the detriment of practice group two. And yeah, you know, so, so a cash flow is, is always a challenge and let new legislation and technology, for example, chat GBT, <laughs> you know, if you listen to some talking heads, it's going to replace people like me and tomorrow. Yeah. You know? And I, I think the better view is is, hey, this is a pretty exciting new technology and tool. I don't go to, to the extremes of saying it's going to replace anything, but how can we use it for the for the betterment of our clients? Mm -hmm. uh, and so those are some things along the way, Corey. Yeah, it's the, the be prepared for anything to me really comes down to a bit of a stoic approach and a stoic philosophy of looking and saying bad things are going to happen. And yeah. so let's not be surprised. Yeah. And, and walk into them with, you know, somewhat of a, a grace and a conviction that you will come out on the other side, perhaps even stronger. So I like your word stoic and I'll use a immediate example today, I walked into the office and we had a flood. Mm. <laughs> One of our sinks somehow burst a pipe and, you know, over a thousand gallons in our office. Well, to, wow. a, pers to a person that you know, that would, would panic on something like that. I would, you know, the world is falling or sorry, the sky is falling. Well, you know, uh, it, it's all right. This isn't so good. How are we going to make yeah. it better? You know, and yeah. some of the, the restoration people came in quickly and down the hall over here. Now we got the, the heaters going, drying things out. So yeah, you know what? Tomorrow's another day. The sun will rise. And if it does rise and you see the sun rise, it's like, wow, this is a good day. I, yeah. I've, I've got another chance to, to make a positive impact. And that's the way I look at it as a leader is if I'm so damn fortunate to see the sunrise, excellent. It's going to be a good day, no matter what's thrown at me.